your fantastic elastic brain. Stretch it, shape it. By Joanne Deek, PhD. Illustrated by Sarah Ackerley. What does your brain really do? Does it fill the space between your ears? Well, yes, but your brain can do so much more. Your brain helps you think and remember and name what you see and what you hear. It lets you move your body and feel both touch and emotions. Your brain does all the things that make you you. Like this person right here, they like red foods. Their favorite word is elbow. They're a ping pong champion. They know global landmarks. She's good at science and enjoys reading pirate books. She's so unique. My favorite word is foot. <laughs> So what is your brain? Is it a muscle? No, the brain is an organ in your body. It's made of, of cells and tissue. The brain controls everything you do, everything you think, everything you feel, even everything you dream. The brain has many parts that do all kinds of different jobs. See, here's a little picture. It's pointing to the blue part right here is the cere cerebrum. And then right, the green part right here is the hippocampus. And the orange part right up here, the prefrontal cortex. And then this like red part right here, the cerebellum. And this yellow, yellow part is the amygdala. It says the cerebrum is the largest part of your brain. It helps you think and speak. And then the red part, the cerebellum, it's a small part at the back of the brain that helps your muscles coordinate your movement and your balance so that you could walk, ride a bike, or play tag. And then that orange part, the prefrontal cortex, or PFC for short, is the part of your brain behind your forehead. It lets you make plans or decisions. You can see right here, she's like, hmm, do you want meat or secret soup? Hmm, which one? <laughs> then the amygdala, the little orange part. The amygdala is a tightly packed group of cells deep within the center of your brain, and it controls your emotions. Look, excited, angry, embarrassed, frightened, sad, happy. That's all your amygdala. Hippocampus. It's at the center of your brain. It works like a file cabinet to help you store and find memories. And then there's your neurons. Neurons are everywhere in your brain. They are tiny brain cells that make electrical signals to send messages to the other cells in your body, telling them what to do. When you were born, you were very little. Your brain was small and not so strong. As you get older, your body grows and gets stronger. As part of your body, your brain grows and learns to do new things. And you can make your brain do even more. Your brain grows very fast during the first 10 years of your life. This is called the magic decade, when you can help your brain grow faster and be more powerful. Just like lifting weights helps your muscles get stronger. Learning new things strengthens your brain. You can give your brain a good workout by trying to learn many different things. Like elastic bands that stretch when you pull them, even things that are hard at first, or that you don't like to do, or that you don't do very well, they get easier when like to do. Think about the first time you played soccer. You probably couldn't kick the ball far out or make very many goals, but as you kept going to practices, you learned more about the rules of the game and followed your coach's directions. The muscles in your legs and your feet, they get stronger. Your movements were more coordinated and you could run farther and faster. Learning more and practicing what you learned let you play better and have more fun. Practice really does make perfect, well, or at least much better. 
when you make a mistake while you're learning something new? You are still training your brain. You will remember that mistake and try something else until you get it right. Making mistakes is one of the best ways your brain learns and grows. If you aren't willing to risk being wrong, you won't take that chance to stretch your elastic brain. You can stretch the part of your brain that controls your feelings, too. If you are frightened about taking a risk, like learning to swim, finding the courage to put your face in the water stretches your amygdala. It will remind you to overcome that fear. And you'll be braver the next time something scares you, like diving into the water. Learning something new causes the brain to grow more connections among the neurons. With more connections, the neurons can send and receive more messages. These connections help to stretch a part of your brain and make it more elastic so that it can hold more information and ideas. So, how does the brain stretching grow? Neuro means that the word is part of, has something to do with the brain. A sculptor molds, shapes, or carves things out of clay or wood or stone. So you shape your brain and make it bigger by adding new things you know you can do. You are a (laughs) neurosculptor. In the same way that the muscles in your body work together when you want to lift a heavy object or kick a ball, The different parts of your brain work together when you're learning something new. The amygdala makes you want to learn to play the piano. The the cerebrum helps you decide to practice. The cerebellum calls up the memory of watching and listening when your piano teacher showed you how to play a new piece of music. Then your cerebellum sends messages through neurons to the muscles in your wrists, hands, and fingers so that you can hit the right notes. The next time you play that piece of music, the parts of your brain and body will know how to work together and you will play the song more easily. Wow, that's pretty cool. The brain that makes you, you really is an amazing organ. It controls what you think, do, feel, and remember. Your brain is growing very fast during the first 10 years of your life. And now we know that you can help it grow. When you try To learn something new, connections grow from neurons and attach to other neurons. Then your brain can send messages faster, making part of your brain bigger and stronger. Making mistakes really helps you learn because your brain keeps trying new things and stretching until you figure out the answer to your problem. You are helping, you are shaping a more elastic brain when you learn new things that build on what you already know. The more different things, kinds of things that you learn and think about, the more you can learn, know, and enjoy. 